I'm Eric Wielander, welcome to my channel. So Eve just announced the new version of their water guard leak sensor, and it, you guessed it, contains thread support. So it works as a thread router on your thread network. But even if you don't know what thread is at all, I made a whole video just explaining how cool thread is. It is a really great and well thought out leak sensor. Eve was kind enough to send me one of these water guards out before its release so I could install it earlier this week and start using it and let you know my experience with it and where I like to use it. And it might be just the perfect product for your smart home, but I think unlike a lot of smart home products, there are places where the Eve water guard works really well and places where maybe you wanna look at some other systems. If you clicked on this video, you probably understand the value of a leak sensor in that water can cause very costly damage to your home. I have multiple friends who've had really bad incidents of water damage over the years. And then if you have some kind of a sensor or early warning system with ideally like your smart home to know that that's happening, you can hopefully stop the leak early enough or at least move some of your valuables out of that affected area to minimize the damage as much as possible. Now, if you're into Apple HomeKit, you're probably familiar with the brand Acara and that they make very inexpensive leak sensors for less than $20 a piece. But you do need to get an Acara hub and sort of set up an account with the whole Acara system. And then of course you can tie that into Apple HomeKit from there. But each sensor is very small. It doesn't detect a very big area of leaks. They're just really two points on an Acara leak sensor that detect if there's a leak. And that's a unique feature of something like the Eve Water Guard in that it has a, a six and a half foot string that you connect to the main unit and that is what detects the leak. So you can cover a much larger area and you can actually add additional pieces of uh, sensor string to that and cover up to 490 feet with a single Eve Water Guard, which is a really amazing amount of space to cover with one sensor. Now it is gonna cost you a little bit more instead of uh, less than $20 for a sensor, it's gonna be $100 for the sensor. But one of the other unique features you also get beyond thread support and the rope sensor is that it has a 100 decibel siren built in. So it's gonna be a really reliable, you know, even potentially offline way to like, if if the Eve water guard detects a leak, it will just sound a hundred decibel sirens. So even if people are around who might not be part of your home, get home or get the notifications, they'll be able to hear the siren. And if you're into thread, the Eve water guard not only just serves as a thread endpoint on your network, it's a thread router, which means it's gonna enhance your thread network and boost the quality of signal for other thread devices around it because it's always connected to power with its main unit that plugs into the wall. And I think usually in most cases, if you already have an Eve water guard, I don't think it's worth the upgrade for replacing that same one with a new version of the unit, unless you're having signal issues with the Bluetooth on previous versions, then you might get better signal or performance with the thread version. But now let's talk about where the Eve water guard is at its best. I install my Eve water guard here in my office Actually, behind this camera, I have a sub pump and it's actually been going off during this recording because we've had some rain and snow melting and things recently. And so that's meaning that it needs to clear water out. And so it goes off in the middle of this recording and I have to stop. But that's good because it's getting the water out of our basement. But if that were to ever fail or something were to leak in all of that, then I put my Eve water guard there to know if the sub pump starts leaking and then hopefully we can detect it very early on and do something about it before water gets into a lot of the rest of our basement. And that's the kind of thing where I think it could be, make a lot of sense where you have a pump coming in from a water supply that you can't really control. It's just the outdoor water that's, that's coming down. So if that leaks or has a problem, hopefully you find out about it early enough that it hasn't flooded the whole basement and uh, hopefully it's also something that's not going to happen super quickly so you could get someone over here in a reasonable amount of time and then 
either I could or I could get some help if I'm, let's say, out of town to get some of my valuables here in the office moved out of here so that they don't get damaged with water. And again, it could also be a really useful product if you're trying to detect leaks where you have HomeKit control of the water supply. So maybe you have a HomeKit compatible sink. And so then if your Eve water guard detects a leak in that sink, maybe you could shut off the sink and hopefully prevent further water damage depending on where the leak is actually occurring. But with that, what if the leak is further up the chain or somewhere in the pipes of your water system? And then let's say you're on vacation and you get a notification about that leak happening somewhere in your home. And then, you know, you could call your friend or your neighbor and get them to come over. But if it's, if it's something where water's coming out really fast, they're probably not gonna be able to get over here fast enough. And you know, maybe you could pay the fees for emergency services to help you of some kind, depending on where you live. But ideally, what if you could just automatically shut off the water supply to your home? And that could prevent a lot of potential leaks where water could come out very quickly. So there's still a question of whether your leak sensor is actually gonna be in the place where the leak occurs, but then having that smart water shut off at the input for all the water for your home could quickly turn all of that off. So that's where something more like uh, Moen Flow or Fin are complete water detection systems where they'll sell you leak detectors, but they also have valves that go on uh, your water input to your home. And so then you can turn off the water remotely or even automatically if there is a leak detected. And so that's a way that even if you're halfway around the world sleeping overnight, your home can detect this problem and at least mitigate it somewhat. And there is one other downside I would say with the Eve Water Guard is that, you know, one of the advantages and selling points of Eve as a company and their products is that they don't have a cloud service. You don't have to set up some additional account with another smart home provider. And so with that lack of cloud service comes a very privacy first mindset about their products, but it means that they don't have a cloud service to send you a notification to their app about a water leak. And one of the challenges with the home app, and one of the things I'm gonna include in my upcoming wish list video about HomeKit, so subscribe if you don't wanna miss that, is that the notification system in HomeKit, you get notifications or can potentially get notifications about so many different things. And there are a million different switches all over the app. And then of course, there's all the iOS notification preferences. So there's a chance that a notification about a water leak would get lost in the shuffle of other things like doorbells or locks or other activity going on in your home or some sort of do not disturb focus mode that you have on in iOS. And so even if it is a time sensitive or critical notification, you might miss it just because it's yet another home kit notification. Well, it is nice that the home app can notify you about these things. And because a lot of home kit happens locally, that's gonna help probably with some of the speed of that notification getting out to you. It's still just something where with something like a leak sensor, maybe having that dedicated app on your phone where it's like, if this app notifies me, it is because of a water leak and I want to know about it at any time of the day, any day of the week. That's something that's kind of tricky to set up and keep that way in the Apple Home app right now. So uh, another downside to consider, but again, um, if you're into Apple HomeKit and using it, it's probably something you can deal with and already have uh, ways to deal with it with other accessories you use. Now, one of the other problem areas you might have in your home is temperature, humidity, and air quality, just being all out of whack in a particular room or being something you need to keep an eye on, maybe with a newborn or some other situation in your home where that's important. So I did a review recently on Eve's new Eve room, which which is a sensor, a really good quality sensor that detects all that stuff and also, of course, works with threads. Say it with me. So check that video out here somewhere on the screen. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.